Well, somebody who needs to hit as well as Patrick whoa. Mahomes. Oh, okay? whoa. I didn't know where he was going with that. No, I'm talking <laughs> about playing better. My God. Yeah, I can't argue with you. Okay, like. He even knows it. Right. I mean, he can't deny it. Okay. He didn't have any passing touchdowns yesterday. He had two interceptions. He now on the season. I get it. They're 6 and 0, so nobody wants to talk about it, but we got to be honest and look at wh- what what he's done, which is six touchdowns and eight interceptions through six games. That's which is mind boggling really. Like for, for his talent. And 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 uh, let's hear Patrick Mahomes yeah, even talk about it. I threw the pick. I don't know if I was fired up from that or if I was fired up. I threw my second pick and it kind of hurt our defense there in that situation. And so we we, we continue to just make strides in the right direction. But at the same time, we make those, these mistakes, especially me. And so we're winning football games, which is awesome. But we're, we're going to try to continue to get better. Yeah. And that's the whole thing is like you can keep doing that. But at some point when your quarterback keeps throwing two picks, it could come back to catch up to you. But the yeah. real thing is. It's hard for me to watch Patrick Mahomes now. Like, at one point, it was must-see TV Mm -hmm. because he was that guy, and he used to make those plays downfield and and, uh, shake the defenders and and open up broken plays and all that. Patrick Mahomes now is a dud to watch. Like, like they, well, you know, he might get you one play. He might get – but he used to be spectacular. No, he was – He's yeah. not spectacular anymore and hasn't been. Here's the part. For a year and a half now. That's the you, part that's crazy to me. You know I would love to be like, Rob, you're wrong because you're always wrong. But you're not wrong right now. And it's, and it's actually weird because – you would think at some point he's he settled down, and you would think at some point he's found a way to say, okay, um, I don't have to make all the plays, but I don't want to be the one hurting my team. And that's the difference now. He's starting to be the one that's hurting them. Early in the season, it was like, okay, I get it. He's finding his way. Travis Kelsey wasn't quite right. Got a guys were injured, so on and so forth. Rice gets injured. But now it's like, all right, you're starting to hurt us. You're hurting us in the red zone. You're hurting us like, places where we can get points. Even if, it's, even if it's just a field goal, at least we get some points. Now you're starting to hurt us there. But, and you know, it is a big butt. A Sir Mix-a-Lot size big butt. The issue is a challenge where Rob Parker can't fully get what he wants, so everybody hating on Patrick Mahomes is, if you saw the game, he made two or three special plays that he and only maybe Lamar Jackson and one other player can make. He made that scramble for 33 yards. He fakes like he's going out of bounds, fakes the player, runs up. Then he runs and fakes and gets in the end zone running on it while using his legs. And he makes just enough plays, Robin. This is the conversation we had last week where I said it's hard to get mad at them, it's hard to hate on him, and it's hard to you know overly worry about the Chiefs is that their defense is so good, and and to me it's like the song, lean on me. They're leaning on the defense right now, and he just makes enough plays here or there to win the game. And so far it's been proven to be an unbeatable formula to the tune of 6-0. And And by the way, they've beaten the the teams that we consider some of the best, you and I. Yeah, barely. But here's the other thing. This season, right, Yeah, Mahomes – and Peyton Manning, back to 2015, are the only quarterbacks in the last 30 years to throw more interceptions than TDs while leading their teams to 6-0 and starts, okay? So Peyton Manning did this at 39 years old. He had seven touchdown passes and 10 picks in a 6-0 and start in 2015. A season that featured Peyton Manning getting benched for Brock Osweiler. Man, don't ever say that again. No, but do you remember that? (laughs) I do. He did, and he wound up coming back and playing in the Super Bowl, and they won a defensive Super Bowl. Okay, Von Miller. I don't know if I don't know if Peyton Manning had 150 yards. I think he had 109 yards or something. I'm gonna look right. Look it up. I I don't think he had a touchdown. I'm serious. I don't think he had a touchdown in that. I know he had like a over, just barely over 100 yards, and he was carried. He was the tin man. In that, Rob G. What, what did got? he? What did he have in that game that they won? By the way, yes, thirteen of twenty-three, fifty-six percent completions, one hundred and forty-one yards. Okay, yeah. I said under. You said under one fifty. Yeah, zero touchdowns, one, one interception, yep. passer rating of fifty-six point six. Very Patrick Mahomes esque, right there. But my guy Peyton Manning, I, yeah. just crazy. But and, you- and and all I'm saying is, 
And now this is the part that's shocking is how long this has lasted. Like, like seriously, I'm not saying that he has to go throw 50 touchdowns like he did when he came out the gate. But to be some of the worst in the red zone. That's the like, issue. Like, I can't believe down at the at, in the red zone he can't make things happen for that team to score. Like, I, yeah. it's, how many field goals have they had? What's making it weirder, too, is that he's not throwing picks because he's kind of getting his early Jameis Winston on. Remember, Jameis Winston would throw 4,500 yards, 40-something yeah, touchdowns, like but then, like, you know, 5,000 yards once he had, you know, and you'll be like, all right, I know he's throwing these picks it's because he's airing that thing out. That's not the case with uh, with Patrick Mahomes, and that's what's making it weird. It's not as if – like, if I told you the stat line was 375 yards, three touchdowns, two interceptions, you would be like, all right, well, he was just chucking that thing all around. I, I, I get it. He's not even having those types of games. But again – He's making the right plays when it matters. He's still the guy that I don't know. I trust many, maybe two other quarterbacks with the ball in their hands when I need a play than him. And I think that's to his credit that he just knows when to make a play, when to win the game. And he's leaning on that defense like Peyton Manning did in 2015 with Von Miller and that amazing Broncos defense, which was incredible. And Peyton Manning was able to lean on it. And that's what Patrick Mahomes is doing. Now he's leaning like a kickstand right now. He's leaning hard. But he's able to make magical plays once or twice a game that win the game. And so that's the that's the hard part why you can't like start to call for him or maybe get somebody else in the game or whatnot, because he's still Pat Mahomes and you still don't want if I told you you got fifty five seconds left, two timeouts, and you're down four and you gotta go seventy yards, I don't think you'd want anyone else with the ball in the entire well, NFL. I don't know about right now. I think in Who the would past, you want? In the past, I'm saying I would take uh I don't know who I take. I, I know there are people I, playing better, but in that scenario, I don't think I'd I take I, anybody else. I take Lamar. We saw that against the Chiefs. Now the guy's foot was on the line, but yeah. that was a play with the last play of the game that would. I'm not tied mad at it. Lamar. Lamar is. There's a, you know is, who else was in that, that conversation? And we got to have. I mean, in that talk, we got to have a conversation about him at some point. Jared Goff. Yeah, he's Jared been, Goff. Like this is he's done that several times too. And the way that offense rolls with the Lions, he definitely. Uh, can get it, man. Uh, all right. Injuries are tearing the league up, by the way. We're talking about Patrick Mahomes. And my homie been struggling, even so much so that he's admitted it. I still believe in him. Rob, I don't know. You team, you over it. I'm just saying it's bad. It's bad to look at. I just, it's mind-boggling that a guy with so much talent has struggled as much as he has. That's, that's Something hard. ain't right, but I'm still riding it. I'm riding right. it till the wheels fall off. That didn't sound. Hold up. All right, hit, hit us up, 8 and 8, 7, 7, 99 on Fox. Fox, all right, all what right. we got? Dion in Texas, you're on the Odd Couple Fox Sports Radio. What's up, Dion? Hey, guys, we're loving the show. Listen, guys, Thank you. first of all. You sound like you're about to try to let us know something. I'm about to let you know a whole lot right quick. Look, man, Pat Mahomes, he, what a leader, first of all. He openly admits, hey, it's nobody else's fault. It's my fault. I got to do better. I got to put it on my shoulders, number one. So I love that in a leader, unlike the guy in New York. Number two, um, Pat Mahomes is missing their uh, free agent acquisition in Hollywood Brown. Never played. Rasheed Rice is out. Yesterday, their other wide, Juju Smith-Schuster, goes out in the first quarter. Um, so so that, that's, he why he's, that's why he's throwing interceptions to the other team? Is that is that why that's happening? Well, maybe, so he's moving, so he's moving the ball down into the red zone, and then – because he can't get in, it's because he doesn't have any players. Is that what you're telling me? No, I'm not quite. Okay, so don't do that. Don't do that. Because don't do that. No, but the, the, all I'm saying is you can't get there like that. It's like okay. it's like you can't have it both ways. It's how if, – if Hold on. Hold on. He's playing poorly. Can you admit that, Dion? Can you admit it? I can admit that, but okay. he's still the only player I trust in a clutch moment to okay. make the right plays at the right time. Just well, like he, has, he leads the league yesterday. in interceptions this year. That's oh, all no, I'm saying. No, 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 no. And your guy, Lamar, in week one, had he made a better pass, they would have won that game. That's what I'm saying. He makes the right pass. He made a the pass. Right I, the guy's listen, foot was on the line. I'm, I'm with Dion on this, and I've said it. There's nobody I Thanks still would rather have. Thank you, Dion. have the ball in his that's hands. Not the, that's not the that's question. It. No, but that's I'm just saying. So that's why. But I'm saying that's why he. What is the question? It's about how poorly he's playing and it's unbelievable that here we are in week six or seven and he leads the league in interceptions. Why can't we just look at him and acknowledge that he's playing terribly? He, we he are. can do it. He no. is. He's but even the admitted excuse it. is always 
No, uh, we're talking about a lifetime achievement award. Why you want a Super Bowl? Why you want MVP? We all know that. We're talking about now the same way that we talk about anybody else is all I'm saying. It doesn't mean that he's a bum or he can't play or he's not going to the Hall of Fame or we're trying to strip him down of all of his accomplishments. We're just talking about now the way we would talk about anybody. There was times when we talked about Tom Brady when he struggled. Peyton Manning. Peyton Manning, we just brought it up, 2015, and he won a Super Bowl that year. But Brock Osweiler uh, took over for him. He was benched that season. That's all we're talking about. But here's here's why it's here. But here's why it's challenging. And we'll get to your calls right now. Is because he's six and zero. And I know you can't ignore that, Rob. So, like that's so but, was, so, so I'm was getting Peyton what you're Manning. Saying. He got benched that year, right? And, but Peyton he Manning isn't able to make the magic plays no, that he, Patrick Mahomes does. Patrick uh, Peyton Manning won what five MVPs? He was a great so player. So what I'm saying is, if you watch, he still if, got benched right, because he didn't play watch, well. But if you watch enough of the game, you're going to see him make magic plays here or there, and then the team wins. That you're going to offer some. All right, he'll fix it. He'll get it right. Will in Wisconsin, you're on the Odd Couple Fox Sports Radio. What's up, Will? What's going on, Rob? What's going on, Calvin? What's up, uh, man? You know, How are you? Oh, good, good, guys. Uh, Rob, man, uh, uh, you know, great way to start off the show there. And I think, like, what we're seeing from the Mahomes Chiefs, uh, Chiefs here is not quite what we saw in Peyton being a little bit older, but schematically, man, they are kind of limited to what that front office has put together and putting players on that team. I mean, they've brought back, uh, you know, Juju Smith and things like that. But brought back that Kareem Hunt, yeah. all these people that they got rid of. Right, right. And even some other other key pieces, Rob. I mean, Marquez valdez Scantling. I know, you know, the self-stylized former fastest Packer, but, I mean, he did go, you know, to a Chiefs team and help out. But, you know, he's still getting jobs other places. So I just Mm -hmm. think that once that team figures out, you know, what piece to put around Pat, you know, once he kind of settles down and not have to make those, you know, Brett Favre-esque decisions, hey, I got to get something to happen here. I mean, he's been playing well, you know, what Andy Reid has schemed up. But, you know, he's going to have to, you know, tighten it up for sure going into this next half of the season. But thanks for the call, guys. Have yep. a good evening. Yeah, we no appreciate problem. it. Yeah, I think that also, Let's Rob. Squeeze one more. Yeah, squeeze again. in one more. Let's go to uh, uh, Ryan in Denver. You're on the Odd Couple Fox Sports Radio. What's up, Ryan? Hey, guys. How you doing? I What's up, Ryan? Show. Thank you, buddy. Thank you, man. Yeah, hey, kind of the same thing the last two guys just said. I mean, but I think it kind of falls on Andy Reid a little bit. Like, we're looking at a dynasty – and we have a defense that's one of the top three in the league right now. And I think Andy's just having them scheming up conservative plays. We have no receivers to throw to. And, uh, you know, at the end of the day, he is 6-0. and Yesterday he has that 30-yard rush. He does scramble nice. in for a touchdown. And one of the picks was bobbled off of, I forget whose hand. Yeah, but, but the we, other can, pick we can talk about that. We can talk about that with everybody, like all the quarterbacks. Did you watch the Steeler game yesterday with Wilson? Uh, Pat, yeah, I did. What, 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 did, what did Aaron Rodgers? He threw the ball right in his chest. Mm-hmm. The guy catching the ball, not with his hands, with his chest. I mean, is that does anybody say, oh, don't claim, don't blame Aaron Rodgers for that? He had two picks yesterday, right? That was one of them. No, and I agree. And again, as a Chiefs fan, I'm you know looking at the stats. It's upsetting to see Patrick with this stat line, but also at the same time, it's almost like the front office gave him this to work with, and it's like Andy Reid is kind of looking at uh, how do we win games. You know, if we need him on a two minute drill, he'll probably open that playbook back up. And that's the last thing I'll say is something I've noticed with Andy Reid over the last decade is he keeps the playbook pretty conservative in the beginning of the season, and then starts to open it up, and so. If he's doing enough to win the games, I don't think Andy wants to show anything until late in the season. All right. We um, appreciate it. All I know is I don't believe that uh, Patrick Mahomes is, uh, like, for uh, giving up his stats and, and playing poorly because it's the first half of the season. They don't want to show anybody. No, he, we got plenty of tape on Patrick Mahomes, and we know what him and Andy Reid can dial up. No, he, he wants to play better. Of and he's, course. And to, to, be credit, to his credit, he's acknowledged it a couple of times throughout the season, so I do like hearing that from him. Uh, but I, I'm not giving up on him, and I'm not – I don't That's want That's not what the conversation no, – we I'm didn't saying, ask anybody despite, to give up on no, him. No, he is playing worse than he's ever played, really – and I still wouldn't want anybody else with the ball last drive. And that's just a compliment to him. And maybe that's what he's done in the past that has us thinking that way, but I still wouldn't.